Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about um, Renine Jean Page from Bridgerton. Apparently, um, before he starred in Bridgerton, he was post uh, he was um, up to being Superman's grandfather for the upcoming well for the then show Krypton, and what happened is he got rejected because he was black. Now. Before any of this stuff happens or whatever, I just want to let let be known that I am so glad he did get rejected. It's the same thing. I'm glad Zoe Kravitz got rejected um, from playing Catwoman in Christopher Nolan's um, Dark Knight thingy because it it shows how stupidity these creative teams and these people are trying to do this. Oh, we want to be diverse or whatever and stuff like that. But you never choose diverse characters. You always trying to get characters that are traditionally white and then ask people of non-white descent to audition for these characters and wonder and then they try they get upset when they get rejected or then people are in charge rejects them or whatever and then they try to go off into this whole thing about race or whatever but the reason why i'm talking about this is because it shows the fools that are that that are in charge of some of these shows and projects are completely stupid. Basically, it says um, David S. Goyer's sci-fi comic book series, Krypton. According to the Hollywood Reporter, the Krypton creative team was passionate about doing some non-traditional ca casting, but the then DC film chairman, um, Jeff John rejected the idea, said Superman could not have a black grandfather, which is true. The, the House of L have been white like let, let's stop trying to trying to find other different reasonings to bring in a black black person it's not going to work it wouldn't have worked because people would have been like how are we going to believe that this is um Kal-El's grandfather people seen you know um Kal-El's grandfather before there's been story arcs where we go back in the past and see Krypton before it was blown up or whatever his family is white that's why the whole Supergirl casting from the Flash doesn't work neither because of the fact that they just because they're cousins oh but they're they come from the same house that it just because you have a, you have two brothers one is the younger one is the the older brother they both married white women both their children are going to look white. I'm sorry to tell you that. You just can't just change it up just because you want diversity in there. And um, another thing, too, is that um, per that, the creators also wanted to bring in Adam Strange. But they want um, they wanted to make um, the character gay or bisexual. And Jeff Johns vetoed the idea, as he should. As he should. Why the hell are you guys trying to bring in Adam Strange to Krypton and then you're going to change his sexuality? No, no, I'm sorry. That's stupid. You got all of those untapped characters from Krypton. Use one of them if you want to bring in some darn LGBT bull crap, to be honest. Or if you want to bring in diversity, you have those. But when you're talking about characters that, that are connected to main characters or the legacy of those characters, leave them how they traditionally are. Stop trying to change characters that ha that have big, that are really big or important to other characters, especially when it comes to lineage, um, lineage and family, and trying to race change them or change their sexuality for reasonings. Like, let's cut that crap out. In a statement to T um, the TRH. John's representative explains the executives believe fans um, expected the character of Superman grandfather to look like a young Kieran Cavill. Thus, a black actor could not be cast as Superman grandfather on the show. Cavill appears as Super um, Superman in Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman, Dawn Justice, and Justice League. And I think that's that's uh, I mean that's fair. Why would you not want to get somebody that looks close to Clark Kent? On, I mean, from Man of Steel, why would you get somebody that looks completely just like Sasha Kelly? Looks nowhere close to being any relationship towards Henry Cavill. Everybody be like, look at them; they got the same. No, they don't. They ain't got the same nothing. They ain't got the same nothing. So shut up. Um, on the issue of Adam Strange, um, John's rep said Jeff John celebrates the support LGBT 
um, characters, including Batwoman, who in 2006 was reintroduced as an LGBT character in comic book series that was co-written by Johns. The reps added that John pitched Warner's on developing the first um, LGBT lead DC superhero television series. Krypton writer um, also talked about how um, in the show, which John objected when black female characters' hairstyles was changed in scenes that took place on different days. I said black women tend to change our hair frequently. It's not weird. It's a black thing. And he said, no, it's not. Well, he's looking at it from how those characters are on that planet. This isn't an Earth thing. So, again, we're trying to bring in this whole diversity nonsense. You have to understand that if you're going to have a black character that's supposed to play a black character on a show or whatever, you can't change things up and try to bring in real rules or real world rules. It doesn't work like that. If he said, hey, your hairstyle needs to stay the same because he's probably talking about if you're an alien and those are those traditions of that culture, that's what it is. You can't just up and change your hairstyle. I, see, this is, this is the stuff I'm talking about. Because basically, you get what they're trying to do. They're trying to throw Jeff Johns under the bus and say that he was racist and homophobic because he vetoed the ideas that the creative team of Krypton was bringing over there. Well, because you guys are being stupid. It's like, pick up a goddamn comic book first. Re research Krypton. Jeff Johns been working in comic books. He, I think he would know more about Krypton and the traditions of how these characters are, look, and feel. More so than the creative team that was working on Krypton. Like, damn. You guys are being real stupid right now. Um, A spokesperson also reacted to the story... To the story by telling TR what we standard um, continuity notes for scenes are being spawned in a way that are not personally offensive to Jeff Johns, but to people know who he is and know his work done, knows the life he lived as Jeff Johns has personally seen firsthand the painful effect of racial stereotype considering hair and other culture stereotypes has been married to a black woman who um, who he, who he was with for decades with his second wife who is Asian American as well as his son, who is mixed race. You see what I'm saying? So, like, what what's the issue? You, you know, we're, we're trying to make an article. This article right here is literally trying to say, because the, the guy, um, the guy, Ray, um, Regine Jean um, Page, auditioned to be Superman's grandfather. He got rejected, and then they tried to want to bring in Adam Strange, and they wanted him to be gay, and it got rejected by Jeff Johns because... Like it or not, Jeff Johns knows about DC comic books. That's what you need. You need people that know about these characters instead of people who just want to bring in diversity for the sake of diversity. Because if that's the case, why not pitch, hey, why don't we bring in why don't we bring in these original LGBT characters or black characters that are actually in the world of DC comic books? You guys work on a creative team, but yet you guys don't even do the fundamental research on these characters and now you're trying to create an article that's trying to call Jeff Johns out about being racist because he rejected he rejected the hair chain the meaning hair changes of black women in a series that has has their own traditions have their own cultures you know what i'm saying or the fact that superman is is coded is a white person but yet you want his grandfather to be black for diversity reasons get the hell out of here with this nonsense that's what i'm saying you don't y'all need people that actually care about these comic books you need somebody that actually works in these comic books but my thing is you guys are supposed to be a creative team and a, and you didn't research the basics of krypton at all or kryptonians hell jeff johns could have gave you a whole vault full of the books so you guys could have researched and read things that's how you that's how you become creative. You have to work in the limitations of what that IP is. You can't just go out of the box for these IPs and then get mad when you get rejected and then try to try to throw out this these articles and try to throw throw Jeff Johns under the bus and trying to call him racist for rejecting and vetoing the idea of a character that's never been gay or bisexual, but you want him to be gay, or character that's never been um, black, but you want him to be black, or characters that are traditionally cloaked in certain traditions for Krypton, but you want to you want to bring in real black black um culture into into a culture that's not not for black people. Come on now, that don't make make it make sense, people. That's so stupid and so ignorant. 
That's why we keep failing with these nerve stores. That's why we get hot messes like this. That's why we get all of these diversity pools that turns into a big joke and most people reject them. You know, it, it sucks. It really does suck that you guys are that that creatively bankrupt that you can't work within the IP that you're giving. You know, you're always trying to think about real world stuff. You're not dealing with real world. You're dealing with the fantasy world. And in the fantasy world, here is what these characters are. Here's what these characters look like. Here's the, what these characters' sexuality is. Here's what these characters' personality is. Here, here's the information. Work within those confines. If you can't work in the confine, get off the team, to be honest. I'm sorry to tell folks this. If you can't work in the confines of the IP that is given, you get up out of there. I'm tired of this. We need to change things to try to um, be more broadened or whatever, or try to get in more diverse people. No, I'm sorry. I'm sick of that nonsense. It doesn't work like that. And it's annoying, to be honest. It's really annoying. Like, damn, give me a break with this garbage. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.